Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to a rigging tutorial. And this one is how to quickly rig your character using ActaCore AccuRig. Before Maya 2023, I used to use Mixamo. This time I'm gonna try the new free ActaCore AccuRig to rig this character. Um, I'm gonna get the joints from that, from that software and then I'm going to rig it in Maya. If you're new to this channel, I post tutorials on a weekly basis. Software includes Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, and so much more. So if that is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So bring out your creativity, open up that software, and let's go ahead and get started in rigging Cora, the last airbender. Okay, so here she is in all her glory. I'm gonna select her, and we need to export her as a FBX. So we're gonna go to File, Export Selection, and you just wanna double check in your pull down menu that this is an FBX. I've already exported her here. I can export it again or just keep the one I have. I'm going to open up Actor Core AccuRig, which is a little bit of a tongue twister in my opinion. All right, it's first going to ask you is to load your character. So let's go ahead and grab that FBX and drag it in. It's going to give you a few seconds here to import your model. My model is actually relatively low poly, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, there you go. So you can see that the symmetry line is right there, which I agree. So let's go ahead and click on rig model. The first thing it's going to ask you is to start placing the joints. It kind of guesses where it's going to be, but um, depending on your model, you might want to double check where everything is. So for example, uh, here's the clavicle, which is fine. Uh, but the shoulder, you'll notice that it's way out here in the shoulder and it should be more where the sleeve is. So I'm going to go ahead and move it to the sleeve and her elbow should be right around here and her wrist should be a little bit lower. Her pelvis is fine, but I'm going to move it down a little bit more, at least the hip area. And then here is mostly her knee and then everything else looks good. You might want to rotate it to double check to make sure everything looks good. And to me, everything looks great. Uh, just make sure that you click this one, which is mirror left to right. You'll notice that when I press that button, it fits right in. So now everything is mirrored and let's go ahead and click on right rig hand. I do have five fingers, so next. And this is the nice thing about ActaCore AccuRig is that it actually gives you hand controls versus in Mixamo, it does not. So I'm very excited about that because you can actually get fingers, which is a big deal. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna just kind of move things around. Again, it, if you click on it, it tells you where it's supposed to be. This one's supposed to be a little left or a little bit more towards the body. And also make sure that the joints are actually in the mesh and that they are aligned correctly. So I'm gonna go through and just make sure that everything is looking good. Once I feel like that is in a good place, it's gonna ask me to rig my left hand and I'm gonna click on this one, which is mirror right to the left. And there you go, magic. Can't make it easier than that. Let's go ahead and click on finalize and move on forward. All right, so now it's painting weights, which is also really nice. Painting weights, I've noticed that it does a really good, a pretty good job. It's not 100%, but it does a really good job. You just have to go ahead and tweak anything. So again, there's nothing that's going to be 100%. Everything's going to be take you about 70 to 80% of the way, and then you're going to have to push it further. There's also other limitations, such as it doesn't really do assets and things like that, but that's okay, because I can actually add those in later. So here she is, just kind of take a look. She's moving around. I can, she's a female character. So let me go ahead and put her in the female character. You can see I can get her in an A pose, a T pose, a whatever pose. Um, if you want to see some animations, you can also see uh, the character doing its thing. There we go. In all her powerful glory, all the drama, I'm not sure what she's doing, but it's cool. And then you can even kind of test the hands just for actor core accurate to show off their skills here. Like, look at this. Look how great my hands are. <laughs> <laughs> they have this animation to go with it. And of course, there's a little bit of acting if you want to throw that in there. All right, but for me, I actually just want kind of like a regular, and it doesn't matter which pose I'm going to select. Um, so just be aware that any pose is fine. And then I'm going to click on export. Export FBX. This one's going to be Maya. As you can see, they have a ton of other options. And it says original textures. Mine are all shaders. I'm going to texture her later, but this should work. Let's go ahead and click on export. All right, this is Cora. I'm going to put export ACC for, for the AccuRig, ACCU. Save and 
Yep. And uh, it does this thing. All right, cool. So here's the funny thing. You're going to think that it looks like this when you're going to import it. It doesn't. All right. I'm starting off with a fresh scene. Let's go to file import. I'm going to go to my FBX folder and grab this one. And there she is. Now, remember in the app, she was in like an A pose. And you'll notice that in here, she is not in an A pose. She's actually in a T pose. And that's okay because the rig is going to still work. Uh, I am going to select her mesh. All of her mesh and then assign an existing material, which is going to be Lambert one. There you go. And you'll notice that her joints are gigantic. And the reason why is because she's actually very small. Uh, all of these units here, which are Maya units, are one centimeter, so she's tiny little thing. Um, but that's okay, I can still compensate for it. Let's grab this joint over here at the bottom. I'm gonna type in select hyphen HI or negative sign HI, so select hierarchy, press enter, and then I'm gonna change this to about 0.2. And then I'm gonna click on this, which shows me all the joints. Cool. Now what's cool is like, you can see that the joints are already binded, so everything's ready to go. Let's go ahead and add the control rig. We're gonna be using this little guy right here, which is the human IK. You can also find it under uh, Windows animation, human IK, right here. What we wanna do is basically create a character definition. So let's select this weird joint at the bottom, which is <laughs> which is the root joint. They call it the reference joint. So we're gonna create a character definition. The idea is that all of those are the joints that you need to create a rig. Double click on this, double click on this, and then say yes, and, and then it will continue on. And it takes a few minutes to kind of set this up, but they have already created a definition for us. So you can download this at the actorcorerealusion.com this website. Don't worry, I'll make sure the link is down in the description. So I've already downloaded it. And the way it works is that uh, you want to make sure you have a joint selected. Your character should be only one. There should be none right now for anything. And I'm going to click on this folder. And you can see that I already have the RLG3 Motion Maya HIK, Human IK, right? If you don't see this, that's okay. Just go down here to browse and then find it. What I did was actually download it and place it into the template. So I didn't have to do it over and over again. So select that. And over here, I'm going to paste the CC underscore base underscore, which is basically every single joint has that, except for the reference joint, which I'll fix in a second. So what we're going to do is say match all the bones that start with this. So if it's left upper arm, it will figure out what's left. And if it's right, it will figure out that it's right and then click OK. And just like magic, witchcraft, <laughs> you can see that everything turns green, which means that it found everything, including the hands. So if I click on the hands, you'll notice that every single joint has a control, which is great. The only thing that's missing is this reference joint. So I'm going to double click on this one and then double click on the reference joint. And now it's green. So everything basically is ready to go. And if you want to poke around, you can, you can see that the spines are selected, all the hands are done and super duper easy. It's ready to rock and roll. Now that it's done, you're ready to create the controls. So over here to the right, you can see that we have a create control rig. We're going to press that and it's going to start thinking. And just like that, we have a control rig. All right. So this is your typical Maya control rig. You'll notice that some joys these that I guess are for whatever, are kind of like not working anymore, but that's okay. What happens if you select this, you can rotate it and you'll see that the character rotates. If you grab the arm, it will rotate the arm. If you grab this little plus sign, it will rotate everything else. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit because it's a little hard to see with all the joints and everything. So over here to the bottom right, we have display layer. I am going to scroll down. You're gonna see that we have this character reference. I'm gonna open this up. All of these are the controllers, but I'm going to keep moving and you're going to see that there's a character one control hips. I'm going to create a display layer and then I can hide them. I notice that there's a bunch of joints as well. So if you want to, you can grab the joints too. go to layer one, right click, add selected objects, and then they disappear. The only thing you have is your controllers. So you do have access to a bunch of controls like so I can go like this. I can take her and she has IK, you know, she can do her little dance like this. Woo, woo, woo. Let me undo all that. Uh, you can also rotate her wrists and you can see how great it is. Uh, another thing that's really neat are the fingers. Let me focus here and you can just bend these. Wee. Wee. 
and relatively realistic. I wish that had more control, but hopefully you guys get the idea. Again, uh, it could definitely be better and you guys can watch how to rig a character on your own, like step by step. So you understand what this whole process is, but this is really great for fast. I mean, I think I did this in 10, 15 minutes. I mean, if you want something done fast, this is a great way to do it. All right, let's talk a little bit about the rig. If you click on this, you're going to see that you have all these other options. If you want to make this a little bigger, you can increase the radius. Oop, so it's easier to select. You can do that to any of them. And what's neat about this is that you can change it. So instead of a circle, maybe you want a cube. Oh boy, <laughs> maybe it's too big of a cube. Or maybe you want to change it into a sphere across. So it's kind of neat that you can change it around. Uh, I'm going to stick to a circle, but if you wanted to change things, you can. Another thing that you could do is right now, everything is in basically, um, FK, right? So if I move this character, the arms go with it. If you want to get the sticky, right? The sticky hands, what you can do is go back in here and, uh, to the human IK and you can see that you can actually change these. And what happens now is that they're now IK. So before they were FK and now they're IK. So if your character is trying to press against the wall, ooh, I just broke her hand. And she's like, move, move, move. Or push-ups, maybe she's doing push-ups, standing push-ups. Then you can see that you can quickly change that into IK and FK. Oh, and another thing that you can do is select your controller that you've actually placed. And if you wanna go back into a T pose, you just have to right click and go to stance pose and it will snap her back. So you just have to right click, whoops. There you go. There you go. And then she snaps back into place. So there you go. That's how you guys can quickly rig your character. Now, if you want to get her ponytail to move on its own, so let's say she's, you know, getting ready for a fight and she's like, yeah, 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 let me, let me exercise my, uh, let me stretch my neck here. You'll see that her hair is kind of stuck to her body and you'll notice that her ponytail is frozen in place. So those are the type of things that need to be resolved in another video. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can add your own joints to this so that you have more control over her rig. So for example, her ponytail, these little ponytails, and maybe even if the belts. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please leave a comment below and also like and subscribe. Uh, that is your message to me, letting me know that you like this type of content and that you want to see more. Don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com where you can find free resources such as 3D models, references, eBooks, and so much more. So academicphoenixplus.com. Support me a bit further. Please per consider purchasing an e-course. I have deep dives into Maya, including modeling, UV mapping, texturing, lighting, and rendering. And you can find those at academicphoenixplus.com. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Keep creating. And I will see you next time when we start rigging the details for this character.